Hey everybody, this is Dakota Guy, uh, back with another Spotlight. This time I want to talk about uh, sending lava from the nether back to the uh, the main, your main camp. Now, I got a, ha a couple setups that I want to show you. This is really seems to be about the best way to do it. Uh, what I've got going here is, first off, I've got a uh, just a standard pump from uh, Buildcraft. I've got two Tesseracts running. Uh, the top one is for the lava coming out. Uh, it's a liquid tesseract. And on the side, I have an energy tesseract providing my energy to uh, my pump. That way, I have minimal out here. I have a chunk loader. You'll need a chunk loader uh, to keep it active. Now, you may have noticed I'm not actually in the nether. I've created a miscraft world with uh, lava. And I did that uh, because I wanted to uh, test uh, real quick. Uh, some of the differences uh, between nope sorry <clears throat> wanted to test the difference between uh, the build craft and uh, like red power 2 now this has been running a little while and I, I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see this I hope you can Do you see the pattern that's going on in the lava here uh, this is where build craft the build craft pump has been taking uh, the lava from it hasn't been running a long time just a little bit and if you'll notice uh, there's just you know it's kind of been pulling it from it that's what the uh, the lower area is here that gives you an idea of the uh, the ring that's that's going on here let me uh, switch back go to my uh, flat world here show you what I've got going on uh, first off I set up some stuff not because I'm playing but just to show you the massive usage of a lava. I was really trying to crank through a lot of lava. Uh, that's why all the geothermals and the uh, the ones, because I wanted that pattern in lava to see how it was using it. Uh, so what we have here is, of course, again, I have my liquid tesseract. This one's running on lava one, the world we just saw. This is receiving. The other one was sending. The one in the nether or fake nether. This is our uh, energy tesseract. Uh, again, you know, once you've once you got your uh, magma uh, engines running, it's going to provide more than enough power to run that uh, pump. And this is, of course, sending it out. Now, <clears throat> like I said, I wanted to use a bunch of energy, so I've got some uh, magmas going. Uh, you know, with again some uh, MFSUs. Um, I even have a, uh, a mass fabricator cranking out. You know, creating some UU. Uh, all again, just to use up this lava. Uh, so that I had a good nice draw from it. Now I want to show you another setup I was playing with. Uh, as opposed to using the build craft pump, I tried doing a little bit of using the red power 2 pump and I kind of wanted to show you the uh, setup here. So basically I have a uh, ender chest with uh, batteries in it. Uh, I have a retriever uh, both sending out to get uh, empty batteries charged up and then it pulls it back, see it here it coming in, into the retriever, goes back into the ender chest when it's full to be picked up on the other end. So let's take a look at what I have going on here. Now this is the other lava world I created. And so first off, uh, again, let's take a look. Here's those batteries I was talking about, the opposite end of it, ender chest, two retrievers. Uh, this goes in the bottom of the battery instead of the top. Uh, again, to keep the battery box full, you can't really create a lot of uh, Red Power 2 energy in the nether. Now well, you can do uh, wind power, but uh, gas kind of makes short work of that. <clears throat> now, uh, over here, I have my grate with the Red Power 2 pump, and I'm pumping lava in. I've tried a lot of different ways to get that back to the main world. I couldn't send it through a, a tesseract or anything and ultimately what I ended up having to do was create a big storage uh, tank and again throw a uh, build craft pump with the uh, the two tesseracts there. Uh, let's uh, go up in the air here take a quick look at this pattern now this is again this is the red power 2 this one hasn't been running quite as long uh, almost as much if you take a look you can see some blocks disappearing every now and then but you'll notice the grid pattern's different, and I was trying to compare which was more efficient. Uh, in the short run, the uh, Buildcraft pump is, 
uh, because it pumps a lot more, uh, a lot quicker than the uh, the Red Power 2. But I've heard that the uh, the Red Power 2 pumps draws from a much larger radius when needed. Uh, so we'll uh, we'll let that run for a while, and I'll give you a follow up video on that. Hey guys, okay, I'm back. Uh, so I let it run. I promised a different video, but uh, I wanted to tag it on the end of this. All right, well, definitive proof, uh, you got to go with the build craft in the nether. Here's what happened. I, uh, I have my grate right here on the end of the pump, and uh, it was touching the lava, right, because the lava was right up here. It cleared out the whole, the square. Now, keep in mind, my chunk loader loads a uh, space of 10, so it goes way out there. So it's not a function of the chunk loader. It's a function of the pump. Now, uh, right there, uh, it lowered everything right here just below this uh, stone uh, tablet uh, so that the uh, the grate was no longer touching a fluid. Now, again, I, I went ahead and lowered it all the way to the bottom, put it down there just to see how it would pull uh, for my own uh, information. But, I mean, that's, you know, I'm not going to come back to the nether and want to keep moving the grate one square lower. Uh, I have not touched the other world yet. Let me uh, land here and... Uh, we'll just flip over to it. Remember, this is my buildcraft only world. And you'll notice it's still going. Because, again, remember the uh, buildcraft pump uh, lowers itself uh, down to the lowest level. Uh, let's take a look at our pattern now uh, that's been running a little while. You'll notice again, uh, check my mini map there in the upper right. I've got a pretty decent circle going. And it's just, it's lowering it from. You know, from that one area. And, of course, I have the uh, non-source block lava uh, right here, uh, which it'll it'll work through it or whatever. So, between the two pumps, I'm sad to say, uh, it's the Buildcraft pump that you're going to want to put in the nether. It's a lot easier to set up. It works faster. It pulls a larger area. And it's less maintenance in the sense that you don't have to come back and keep lowering it. Uh, I really... I'll be honest, I really kind of wanted the, uh, the Red Power to be the better one because I love a, a lot of Red Power 2's uh, stuff. I just love the uh, the look, the configuration, uh, a lot of the different information, but it was harder to set up and it was not as efficient in the long run. This one, surprisingly to me, was the, the more efficient route to go. Now, I don't know if uh, the build craft would be better, you know, with if you don't have a huge lake like this if you just have a uh, uh, you know a lot of um, you know, like nether rack in the way you know you just have like a stream here I, I don't know if the the red power will filter through the river better uh, than the, the build craft pump will but uh, if you got a large lake and you've built out to it uh, this is the way to go alright guys well, thanks for tuning in. Uh, like and subscribe if you like what you see. Uh, if you have something else you want to see, th definitely throw that in the comments. I'd be happy to uh, create one, uh, taking a look at the, uh, the issues. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.